Hello everybody, I'm Mega Shiny Object. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Um, I wanted to check something up here. I probably already got this. I haven't watched any of my old episodes, so... Did I already get this guy? I did already get this guy. <clears throat> I should really go back and watch my old episodes and see what I have and have not done so I don't go doing that again. Alright, let's go find Chalik. <clears throat> some different armor. This armor's starting to get old. showing the house and things like that, so I've had to keep my room cleaner than I normally do, because <laughs> my room's an effing mess. Um, but it also means that I haven't really had much time to uh, record anything. Did I need to go to Seasack Academy to meet with that guy? I don't remember. Yes, Seasack Academy. So yeah, I've been trying to get stuff ready to move. It makes it uh, difficult to record things when you're trying to pack things up. Let's go. Should be a fun move though. Be nice and different, I guess. Get out of the place I've been in for the last 13 years. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Cool. I'm glad they did that for her. Alright, let's go find this Chelik dude. I don't remember where he is. Okay, I'm going the right way. Excuse me, Turian. Jerk. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Okay. I'm in your office, but all right. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Sorry? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. Yes. We were. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Get her out. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. <laughs> As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? You don't need her. You're a smart guy, Chalik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. All right, what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What makes these illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? 
We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. That's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Voice change? Jeez. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax <coughs> and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. All right, fine. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Ooh, another level up. Yay. Um, interesting fact about Chelik there, for those of you who are Dragon Age fans. Sweet. The guy who voices, uh, Chelik. Gideon Emery. Ooh, cool. Overload. Also voiced Fenris in Dragon Age 2. I know these things. My dream is to someday become an actor, so I study actors. I'm not a crazy stalker or anything, but I just like to do the, uh, I swear I'm not a crazy stalker. Um, <laughs> I like to, um, find out what different actors have played and things like that. And and just things like, you know. That's why I know all these things about uh, Dr. Michel and, and Chelik. Gideon Emery actually plays several characters in Mass Effect 2 as well. Anything? Anybody gonna say anything? Yes. Yeah. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. Only an idiot hopes for combat while flying in a stealth ship. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. This isn't a strategy simulation. If those new tactics don't work, we're salvage. <laughs> mm, I love Rex. He's so... Just cynical of everything, it's hilarious. Alrighty. Where do I need to go? <laughs> Probably going the wrong way. Oh. Arms dealer in the lower wards markets. Okay. A lot of side quests to get done. Let's see, I gotta go to the lower markets. I could have taken rapid transit. But that would be too easy, wouldn't it? You boys coming? Really? Come on, guys. Whoa! That was a lovely little dance move there, Rex. I mean, ah, and Rexy did it too. Gareth and Rex. Weird little glitch there, I guess. Hello, Jax. Hold it! That's close enough, Army. Army? You got my payment? Yeah. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Ooh, he's blue. He's cool looking. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Sure. I don't think she's gonna blow this. She's thinking about Jenna's safety here, and if she blows this, um... She doesn't know that Jenna will come out okay. So she's going to go ahead and, and do it. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. Ooh. We're done here. Alright, now what do I need to do? Rita's sister is safe. Return the shipment to Chelik. Alright. I'm taking some damn rapid transit this time, because fuck walking all the way over there. 
taking the elevator and everything. Let's go this way. Is it here in the wards? Yes, CSEC. Academy. All right. Ooh, Turian. They like to walk in front of you. It's obnoxious. Hi. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Oh, you're keeping tabs on me, are you? Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Really? Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Weird how some of his lines aren't, um... modded to sound Turian-ish. He'll go back and he'll sound like a, an American version of Fenris again. Weird. Okay, now what- oh yes, I remember what I need to do. I need to go to the Presidium. Which is- this is... the docking bay, okay. I need to go talk to Nasana Dantius. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. <laughs> the production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. <laughs> okay, that should be interesting. Shepard is so small compared to them. We going? We've got some lag going on here. Alrighty. Embassies are this way. We'll go talk with Miss Dantius. Okay, that was weird. She's just like, oh, never mind, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bizarre animation. Loading. There's actually a um, keeper over here somewhere. That Hellos. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty. Look at the trees. And the sky. Is that a, some big freaking birds up there? They have birds on the city Alright, here she is. And this lady called me earlier on my uh, radio in the Normandy asking for my help. Which is why we're here. So, hello. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. Hello, Nasana. I see you got my message. Are you in trouble? It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. That's too bad. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. Huh? The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Okay, so wh why was your sister spared? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. 
My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Okay, we'll pay and get her back. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. <sighs> That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. Oh no. <sighs> I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. That is a stupid law. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but... When I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You need my help. You owe me to find her and bring her back. You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Okay. Tell me about the kidnappers. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Okay, so why me? Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Well, that is true. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. I don't think she'd do this for payment. She... Oh, yeah, we're not gonna do this for payment. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Will do. Will do. Alright, now what? Now what? What's in here? Nothing? Ooh. Codexes. Codexes? Is it codexes or codices? Oh, hey! I never scanned that guy. Excuse me, Garrus. How many of those keepers do I have? Ooh. Nice. Um. I want the cryo rounds on that. Ooh, maybe not. Max accuracy. Oh. I'll put that on. And then... Oh, crap. And then that. There we go. Improve my accuracy one way, throw it down the toilet in, the, in another. Okay. Yes. Find Dahlia. Man. Oh yeah! I gotta go talk to that guy. I forgot about that. Talk to that guy about his brother. It's a good thing I looked at my journal. Here we go. Take this. I don't feel like walking there. Presidium locations. Uh, Citadel Tower.
I've arrived at Citadel Town. What is she doing here? We'll talk to her in a minute. I need to go talk to this dude. Move, Asari. I feel so bad for not doing his quest the last couple times. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? Oh, he's dead. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. This must be very hard on you. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Right. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Fun. Okay, let's go see what Emily Wong wants. I'm just gonna help everybody with their familial problems. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic controllers? That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Okay. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements <laughs> voluntarily. Are we inside this Rex's story head? will provide that pressure. I think we were inside Rex's head. <laughs> What will this bug allow you to pick up? <coughs> Just audio and ah. video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Rex, move so I can get out of your head. That's creepy. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference ah. between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? Oh my gosh. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. Alright, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. I don't even know what I just agreed to do because I'm so distracted by the inside of Rex's head. <laughs> Alright, I have to go to Citadel Security, all the way back to Citadel Security, and plant a bug in the Citadel Traffic Controller Center near the back of CSEC. <laughs> oh, damn. Rex, your fat ass is in the way. Fat head, I guess it is. Oh, man. C sec. Okay. Now, where is. It's up here. I know this for a fact. Actually, I really don't know this for a fact. I could be going the complete wrong way for all I know. I think, I think it's up here. Emily. Ah, I gotta go back to the tower. Wine, wine, bitch, bitch, complain, complain. I love this hallway. It's so cool. Aside from the Normandy, the Citadel has to be one of my favorite places on the in the game. Come on, Rexy. I love the way Rex waddles when he runs. 
because the Citadel is just so intricate. I mean, the Normandy's a shepherd's home, pretty much, so of course I'm going to love that, but... Um, the Citadel is just so well designed. Getting readings! Oh this is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. Okay, well, you're well. Uh, it's a good cause. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Me too. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. You could do that. Jesus Christ, Rex. I finish. How many keepers do I have left? Oh, I have two more left! I've scanned 19 of 21 keepers. I need to find two more. I might have to go on a search for keep for the keepers. Um, man, I have a lot of assignments. I only have two regular missions and a lot of freaking assignments. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here with, with us on the Citadel. Try to decide what to do next, and in the next episode, we will go get some of these um, assignments done. Or maybe we'll go do a main mission. I haven't really decided yet. So, I might also explore the Citadel a bit more off-screen and get some weapons and such, and armor, for me and my companions. Um, Alrighty, I'm done talking. I'm tired and need to go to bed. It's, it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Good night, guys. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.